Hello everyone and welcome to today's recipe. I am Caitlin and I am cooking killer vanilla ice cream which can be found on um, cooking with Tanina's insider recipes. So I won't be putting in the description the recipe or anything but I will be putting the link where you can sign up to the insider recipes. They are amazing. So you do have to cook on manual cook in the thermo mix, but I highly recommend that you guys get on there. There are some recipes that are not insider recipes. The killer vanilla ice cream is the insider recipe, but I'm giving you a little insider on what it looks like. So let's get started and um, we'll go from there. you need your thermo mix. I'm going to have everything pre-weighed out and pre-measured today. You need your recipe which I have on my phone. You need your whisk and a spatula of course. So if we take the lid off. Now a little handy hint that I feel may help. I personally have not made this yet. This is going to be a first time whiz bang so we're going to be doing this along together is I feel like a vinegar wash would help this a little bit, um, especially considering that we want to see really solid peaks form with the killer vanilla ice cream. And you'll see that along the way, but I feel like a good solid wash in your jug of your thermo mix is something that you want to get um, right first go, because obviously we don't want to be wasting egg whites and things like that. So if you do a, a vinegar wash, which is just a liter of water to 50 grams of um, white vinegar and then put it on the pre-clean mode. I use the browning mode just to make sure it's got nice and hot in there and washed the longest is um, I feel all you need. So with that being said, I bring my recipe across. We need 200 grams of egg white. 200 grams of egg white sounds like a lot and you're going to probably think, but Caitlin, what are you going to do with the egg yolks? Hollandaise sauce is something I'm going to make with my egg yolks. So don't throw them away. The eggshells, I'm going to use for an eggshell wash. So everything is going to be used. So don't stress. The other thing you can do is you can put your eggshells in your compost. Like I said, nothing ever gets wasted with Thermomix. So it says place your egg whites in here. So let's do that. So I'm not going to measure them, but I know I've got 200 grams worth because I've already pre-weighed it. Then it asks for some cream of tartar, which I already have here. Just make sure we get all that in. You could use your spatula, but I know who's going to be eating this. <laughs> make sure that you haven't got any cream of tartar in the way, because now we're going to be inserting our butterfly, which you could have put on already, but it doesn't really matter. There is a knack to putting on the butterfly, which you guys probably won't be able to see, but there is a, um, in here, and I will put a picture up as well, but in here there is a, um, I guess you could say a blade that looks like a knuckle, and what you want to do is you want to put your butterfly in, at about five to four. So in between the 11, so if you're looking at a clock, you want it to be at the 11 and the four. Okay, and then pop in, give your blades and your whisk a mix. Oh my goodness, my friend locks. All right, so we're gonna whip this for five minutes. 37 degrees, so working from our um, left to our right. So, five minutes, 37 degrees. Whoops, too excited. 37 degrees. Butterfly in speed three, because butterflies don't go over four. And then we'll come back to this and I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, so we're almost done. Eight seconds to go. So I'll open up my recipe again, or if you guys could see this, I am going to show you. 
So a touch S green. Got a meringue starting to form and our bowl is quite warm. I know it says 37 degrees. All right. So now we're going to be adding some caster sugar. Now I asked for golden caster sugar. Golden caster sugar has like a vanilla -y taste, but I didn't have any in the cupboard. So I am going to try it with just my own caster sugar that I have made with um, some raw sugar and see how that goes. Um, because Thermomix is versatile and we'll see how it goes. So lid back on. We'll grab out a spoon and we're going to be adding this in over six minutes. So I'm not going to bore you guys. I am, I am going to come back to you over six minutes at 50 degrees with our butterfly staying in at a speed three with our measuring cup off. So I'll show you what it's going to look like. So six minutes. So how we're going to do it. Oh, no, too far. Side it again. 50 degrees this time. Butterfly in. Speed three. So purely just spooning it in. And you can hear it um, grabbing hold of that sugar. You'll end up with some sugar around your lid, and that is okay. And this should form the meringue. So we have just beaten our eggs essentially with our butterfly, and now we're going to form that really lovely meringue. So I'll leave you guys there. I'm going to come back in six minutes. And we'll see what we've got. Alright, we're back. Three seconds to go. I can already see this looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Hopefully it doesn't fall out. Look at that. Tanina, you have changed the way I make meringue. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, recipe says, whip for a further 20 minutes. All right, we can do this. This is awesome. I, in the next 20 minutes, am gonna sit down and do the breakdown of how much this is, um, how much cheaper this is gonna be compared to buying ice cream, essentially. So, 20 minutes. At temperature. No temperature this time. Sorry if you can hear that beeping. That will be my neighbors. <laughs> I'm reversing in. So whip for 20 minutes, butterfly stays in, speed three, measuring cup still off. All right, let's see how we go. 20 minutes, quickest 20 minutes ever. We're trying to do some maths, which we will discuss in a mini. This is amazing. So we literally nearly have, that's awesome. It's quite warm. Look at that. Look at that. So the next step is to put this in the fridge for about 20 minutes until this is completely cool. And then we're going to discuss some maths breakdown. So we're looking at nearly two liters worth of ice cream here. This is just, oh, unreal. I'm a game changer. I'm never buying ice cream from the supermarket again at this rate. Okay, let's go through the breakdown. Now I've turned my Thermomix off I have um, put my ice cream in the fridge to cool down for the next 20 minutes. And so let's just go through the breakdown. I've deliberately not picked the cheaper alternative. I have deliberately picked the 
the branded um, ingredient because sometimes that's all there is on the shelf. So two liters of ice cream this time round worked out to be about the $7.88 mark. Now, I know you can get the home brand ice cream cheaper, but have you read the ingredients? Because I'm telling you now, you should. I know exactly what went into this and I know exactly how much sugar I want in here. Yes, I have followed the recipe, but you know, it it's meringue. So it's you need that sugar in there and that sort of thing. Um, but you've got to weigh it out over it's to two liters worth of ice cream. You're probably getting near that amount of ice cream per serving. So you probably need to sit down and weigh out what matters to you the most. And to me, it's I need to know both personally and dietary at the moment, um, you know, what goes into my food. So um, eggs, I did pick the dozen egg because dozen actually works out cheaper. Although my eggs were free because they came from the chooks. My partner brought me over some eggs. So my eggs this time were free. So I actually didn't pay for them. But if you were to buy them from the supermarket, a dozen worth of eggs can cost $3.70. Roughly 200 grams of egg whites um, is about $1.85, which I use six. So I managed to get 200 grams worth of eggs whites out of six eggs, which I did say I will use the egg yolks for hollandaise sauce and I will use the egg shells for um, an egg wash. Now, I did say there was cream of tartar in there. That whole cream of tartar, which you will use over and over and over and over again, um, that will cost $3.60 initially, but for the amount that you use only costs about 60 cents. So, you know, again, there's a little bit of an outlay, but then, you know, next to nothing thereafter. And then you've got cream of tartar for whatever you need thereafter as well. But again, already had it, so didn't pay for it. Um, raw sugar, I already had in the cupboard, didn't pay for it, but if you needed to buy it, it works out cheaper to buy a two kilogram bag. This one, I did pick the uh, cheap alternative, so like your home brand alternative, which was $2.80. Um, for the amount that I used, it worked out to be about 35 cents. So um, again, you know, not a great big outlay there, but for some people, you know, this is, it, it just depends how much you need to spend. For me, that's not a big outlay. I'm making it to recipe today. Normally I would like something that is dairy free, but I am making it to recipe today. Vanilla bean paste is normally $16.50 for the Queen's um, vanilla bean paste. Um, again, I already had some here, so again, didn't have to pay for it. For the amount that you would use in this, it would be 58 cents. Now, for the cream, I'm actually using um, UHT cream because I have an abundance of UHT cream. So again, I did not have to purchase this, but the cream that um, I have used, I think worked out to be, it's $1.50 a little carton, and for the amount that you would need, it would cost you $4.50. So out of all of that, the biggest expense is the cream, um, and added all that up together, and it would cost $7.88 for me to know exactly what goes into my food, um, and for me to know uh, how it's been cooked, how it's been prepared, and all that sort of thing. So, and there is one, two, three, four, five ingredients in there and I know exactly what's in there and that I'm happy for myself and my partner and my extended family when we can all meet up again. Um, living in rural regional Victoria, we have only just been able to meet up in everything again, so that's exciting. Um, so, yeah, so... Again, I'm happy for my family and everything to eat this 
and enjoy this. So I hope that helps and um, we'll wait the 20 minutes and then we'll come back for the next step and then we're just about done. Super, super easy. I'm so impressed um, with Tanina's ice cream recipe. Okay, we're back from the fridge and this is looking pretty good. Next step is to put this back in our Thermomix and we're going to put some vanilla and cream in here and we're going to whip it all together for 20 seconds with our butterfly still in and until we see some soft peaks form. So we literally just have some meringue happening here which is nice and cold and then we're going to put it into our insulated containers although I can guarantee this is not going to be big enough so I might have to get some more containers out and then let it freeze up and that's going to be it. So we'll put it back in. I'm not going to measure my vanilla because I'm more than happy to have this vanillary. So just whatever I think. That will do. Some cream that I've already pre-measured. So yesterday was Thursday, today is Friday. I made this last night and I went to edit this video today and it stops as I'm scooping the cream in. Full SD card. It was like just at that crucial moment where you guys miss out on seeing how awesome this ice cream turned out, how amazing it looked as I was pouring it in. I'm busy chatting away to you and you missed the whole thing. <laughs> it's like it couldn't have happened at a worse spot, but then it couldn't have happened at like a best spot. So I'm going to show you what it looks like because it looks amazing frozen just as it did not frozen. But I also wanted to tell you about this because I attempted to last night, but it didn't record. This is the Tavolo ice cream container. It is on the mix shop. And if you haven't purchased one and you're going to be making this ice cream, I highly recommend that you get this or something very similar. This holds 1.4 liters. We were, I worked it out, this roughly made two liters. So it was pretty close to my estimation. And it, it is just frozen it so perfectly. As always, it freezes all ice creams perfectly. Um, but if you haven't got this, highly recommend it. The other thing I did was with the leftover bits is we popped them in, the, in some popsicle um, ice cream molds that I do have, although this is starting to melt a little bit and they've turned out pretty good. So quite impressed with that, although I will be getting them back in the freezer to look sweet. If you haven't got yourself a good ice cream scoop, highly recommend getting one of these. These are also from the mix shop. Although I sound like I'm on an infomercial at the moment. Get one of these, they're sturdy. They are very good at scooping and they don't bend backwards like some of the cheap nasty ones do. So this is a good buy as well. Make sure you pop your consultant in when you go to checkout and um, if you have any questions about them, your consultant will get a notification and they can help you out in like how to use these. So without further ado, let's have a look at the ice cream that you missed last night. So as you can see, there's quite a bit in there. So that's 1.4 liters all in there. Ice cream scoop. So it is quite a firm ice cream, but I wouldn't say like you've got to work super hard to get it out. Obviously my freezer is super cold and we did have the power go out last night just to add to things. There you have our ice cream. Looks pretty awesome. It is hard. 
Um, I was expecting it not to be as hard, um, given that it is egg whites whipped up and just a bit of cream. Um, yeah, we'll taste test it and see what it's like. Super sweet, very vanilla -y. That's good. I highly recommend. It's delicious. Much nicer than store bought ice cream. Um, very impressed. Highly recommend. Tanina, you have nailed ice cream, and um, I won't ever be buying store bought ice cream again. I um, reckon you could definitely make some variations of this. I know that she makes it into like a peppermint chalk chip. So I will be attempting that at some point, and I definitely think you could make it into a chocolate one. I think that would be really nice, but highly recommend if you guys haven't tried this, you need to go and sign up to Tanina's Insiders Club and um, give this a go, but yeah, it's a winner. And um, I'm gonna go and eat this. You guys should definitely try this, and I will chat to you later.